the Biden administration and Democrats now doing a full court press, that's a basketball term, for electric vehicles. Watch this. Let's lower the price of electric vehicles so we never have to pay at the pump in the first place. The future is electric, and this administration is moving toward it at lightning speed. We already know that EVs are the future. And New Jersey wants to help you pay for one. They're offering up $4,000 to help residents buy an electric vehicle. But here's the problem. The average cost is, checks notes, $66,000 for one of these suckers. So the $4,000 not really going to help out here, Charlie. Uh, New Jersey's my home state. Always has been, say, for a couple of years in the aforementioned Maryland that we're talking about during the break. So my governor, Phil Murphy, thinks this is a good idea where, okay, if I could give you the 4000 you just have to come up with the other 62000 that you may not have now because you're forced to steal spam at the local DMV. <laughs> no, it's insane. It's like, it's the, it's, it really is the Marie Antoinette thing. It's like, well, let them drive a $66,000 vehicle. And then they edit that and they say, okay, let them drive a $62,000 <laughs> vehicle. How is this any better? And also, would you hire either any of these people in the Biden administration if you needed to, if you were like moving and you needed to hire somebody to help move your stuff? You wouldn't trust these people to drive anything anywhere or get anything anywhere. It's a great point. Let, let's hear from Representative and that's a senator, Debbie Stabnow. She is a Democrat from Michigan. She's bragging here about all the benefits of owning an electric vehicle. <laughs> On the issue of uh, uh, gas prices, after waiting for a long time uh, to have enough chips in this country to finally get my electric vehicle, I got it uh, and drove it from Michigan to here uh, this last weekend and went by every single gas station and didn't matter how high it was. And so I'm looking forward to the opportunity for us to move to vehicles that aren't going to be dependent on the um, whims of the oil companies. This is just not realistic, is it, Rachel, <laughs> as far as no. this is concerned? And the, the to, tone deafness. It's so crazy, right? I mean, she looks like Marie Antoinette, actually, a little bit <laughs> with the with the bouffant hair there. Mm. Um, I have to oh, say, boy. listen, uh, first of all, if you have to subsidize it, it means it's it's too expensive, it's too early, it's not ready. Um, this technology is not ready for, you know, the average American to consume right now. Um, but also, even if you could afford one, I could maybe scrape some money and buy one. I don't want to buy a car that makes my country more dependent on China. Great point. Um, I don't want to buy a car that requires cobalt that's mined by little kids in Africa. I am not interested in solar panels um, that, by the way, are, are not that green to begin with, but are created by slave or manufactured by slave labor um, in China. So, again, this is back to my theme of this whole show, for me at least, is um, this is about the Democrats. They care more about ideology. They care more about their green dreams and being really, you know, fancy in their in their elite circles. They don't care about real humans. They don't care about human suffering. Um, and they don't care about the American people. Plus, Rachel, I looked it up. There are no 11-seater electric vehicles yeah, that are out no. there currently. For, for the <laughs> I have to buy three of them. Family. Exactly. Can I ask a follow-up real quick before I get to it? Sure. What the heck were you thinking? You moved to New Jersey <laughs> I voluntarily. I, I love Fox, but boy, it's cost me a the lot. The taxes money. you got to love, huh? <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, so, Anita, where, where, where does this all go in the end? In other words, we have gas prices that, you know, the administration's bragging that they're coming down, but in October they're going to go right back up because there's a big embargo coming, Europe against Russia, right? So you could see gas prices going to 5 $6 a gallon. I don't think a lot of people have a problem with transitioning to green energy if gas prices were where they were under the Trump administration, right. which was something like, what, $2.30 when he left. So timing is everything in politics, isn't it? Yeah, and, and if people could afford them, you know. And to Rachel's point, they might not be ready for the American public at large yet, right? right? First of all, they don't have the third row for Rachel's family. Yeah. And second of all, you know, I have a friend who wanted to be green, so she went out and bought a top-of-the-line Tesla, drove from Los Angeles to Orange County to visit her mom, or San Diego, rather, to visit her mom, had to stop in Orange County for two hours on the way back oh. to charge it up. She didn't know that. Yeah. The Did heck she with, do that with kids? The heck with how. that, she said. <laughs> she, she took it back and bought a gas-guzzling SUV. I mean, this is a true story. So there, there are a lot of things that uh, people don't know about these, as, about these uh, electric cars. Maybe they're not ready for prime time yet. Maybe not. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.